Hi guys, welcome back on the channel. On today's video, I'm going to show you how I make my quick reference sheets and unit cards for my games. I find them very useful, because especially because I put rules that I don't remember and these are not necessarily the important rules. Also, I find sometimes that uh, the cards make my table look better. But also, when I refer to them, they help me speed the game up. For sure, when you play a game every day, you will not require them. But how many of us play games every day? I think if we're lucky, we play a game once a month. So let's have a quick look. This is um, a unit card for DBA that I created. DBA has quite a few rules. Uh, we have the combat outcome rules and, generally speaking, um, rules for... Um, the fighting and hand-to-hand -hand combat and and movement. Now, this looks to you quite big. Um, obviously, what we can do here is we can make it smaller if we want and then um, and print it smaller. I'll show you how we do that. So you don't have to uh, have it big. You can create it, uh, make it one image, and make it smaller. If you go here, you can see from different rules. This is, I think, from short point, and these are unit cards. You can have your photographs, if you want, of your miniatures. Uh, here on the top right, you see here we have the flag of uh, the army you're portraying, the unit, and here the unit information. Here on the right, a nice commander with a dice, if you want, just for design. Again, they look big. Here, I did them big so you can see them. Uh, but again, as I told you, they can become smaller, wider, longer. Um, it's up to you and uh, print them accordingly. Uh, on the other hand, here you can have, you can see some unit cards I did for some billhook rules. You can use images if you want uh, and um, portray with images. They're very beautiful. Always paintings are very beautiful. But also you can use uh, just words. You don't need to have images. Again, all these unit cards um, can be printing uh, however you like. Again, another here unit card. I'll show you here what I'm showing you. When you create your unit card, everything is a component. Everything moves. So um, in the end, when you finish it, you have to do um, copy-paste uh, to make a whole image. I will show you how this works. Here, for example, we have tokens you can use for orders if your rules require tokens or for, or for disorder, whatever you want. Very easy uh, to do tokens. Take the flag accordingly of an army you're using. Obviously, this is for me for the Hundred Years' War. And then you can go to Quick Reference Sheet. That's a quick reference sheet um, I created for my Bill Hook games. Um, uh, the author was very kind to give me some information. And then I created uh, the design. And as I told you again, um, regarding the size, you can uh, fix accordingly. Where you can find now uh, images and um, Let's have a look and uh, how you download them and a couple of uh, disclaimers and information. So, if you print at, at, in the internet uh, transparent images for Second World War or for Napoleonics or vector images, you get, you get into many sites. This is one PNG Mart, uh, where you can find many transparent images uh, of knights, uh, of uh, medieval frames, whatever you want. Here, the same site has a lot of Napoleonic images, uh, if you want, for your Napoleonic wars. And because I know many friends follow Second World War, again, images uh, that you can use. And from later wars, you see here, special forces. Um, I'm using parchment, so there are a lot of parchment backgrounds at the internet. But take care of this. When you download any images, it's usually mentioned. Some are royalty-free, some are not for commercial purposes, uh, some can be bought and paid. It depends if you want to create a quick reference sheet that you want to sell. Maybe you want to think about it. But uh, in general, obviously, all the images can be used if you use it in your battle um, or if you use it in your with your friends and you print it with your friends and you have it in your club uh, and you don't uh, earn money or you don't gain money from it. So let's see how we can create, um, very easy to create, a unit card or a quick uh, reference sheet. Um, ah, let's see here, images. You see here images, for example, from the Second World War, where you can use for uh, your units. And uh, maybe you don't have parchment, maybe you have something else, but I just downloaded some images so you can see very easily how nice they look. You see you put here the Soviet uh, flag in the corner, and you can create a very nice design. But let's go to a new slide and let's create a quick reference sheet. This applies to everything. It depends what images you will use. So you can use it for your um, Napoleonics, you can use it for your uh, Second World War, for any any kind of um, 
era. So if we go insert and get go uh, to pictures and go desktop here, have my medieval material, and I will go here, and we have many parchments. So I want to use, for example, uh, well, let's let's use this one. So we open it here. Now, depending on what I want to use it for, I will play around with size. If I want to um, make it as a quick reference sheet, uh, obviously I will enlarge it a bit with uh, my mouse and use it here as um, as a background, a parchment is look is good for medievals. Uh, if you don't want to, you just have to you know make it a bit smaller and uh, use it like a card. So what we do here, let's say we want to use our own uh, images. Uh, so we'll have in our, I will use this one. We'll have in our um, library many images of uh, our units. So you can copy paste it, and depending on your design size, you will. Uh, put it accordingly in the position. Now here you can go on shape effects and decide how the shape may look. You have different effects. Um, you, it's nice with the frame if you want. The same you can do for the card if you want to uh, give them a, a frame. That doesn't look bad. That doesn't look bad. Uh, or you can make the card smaller. So we're creating slowly. slowly so we need to make our longbow man. I want to make it a bit more fancy, let's say. So if we go again to um, the images I have, maybe I want to use um, some kind of um, uh, parchment paper here, so I can use it to name the troops. It's quite big. Again, we play around with it uh, according to the size we want, and obviously what information we need to uh, put on the card. So you can make it quite smaller here. That doesn't look bad. Also, it's nice if we can put shade, so you go to picture effects, shadow and play around and see i like shades i don't know if it's visible here but i like say it gives uh, a nice feeling i can do this for and also for um the shadow here so now that i i've placed um well the initial design and I, I need a bit more i need to make it a bit more fancy so let's try and get some medieval frames that i have somewhere here um or you can use dice as well. Uh, all these, the transparent dice, dice, I don't think they have any uh, royalty issues. And maybe I want to use also in the corner um, a knight. So let's, I mean, you don't want to make it like a circus, but I'm just saying to you. So maybe I want to use here to show that I have a knight and make my card look a bit more better looking here in the corner. And maybe because it is a game, uh, I will go and uh, use the dice. I like this red ones, and take the dice. It's, whoop, it's quite big, and we'll make it again smaller, and put um, a dice here. Obviously, you can change the which image is in front. So, for example, if you want the dice to be behind the knight or whatever image you have, you go to uh, bring forward, and you bring it forward. You continuously bring forward, and I think it's. Yeah, you see, now the knight is in front of the dice. So this bring forward or arrange backwards, it's something that you can use. So let's say I have it like this, but still I think it's not medieval enough. So um, we can go to pictures, and I was thinking of using some frames. Um, so I have this frame. I cannot. I don't want to do it from both sides. So I will do it because I have the knight on the right side. Let's do it on the left side. I have this very nice frame. And... Um, I will make it a bit smaller. And, and it looks good like this. But I don't want the frame to cover my title. So I will go, I will I will press the title here, and I will bring the title forward. It needs a couple of times. Here you see, and the title is in front of the frame. So the frame is behind the title. And um, uh, it looks quite good here on the sides. Maybe I can put it a bit more inside yeah it looks good maybe i can do it from the other side as well this uh, it's very easy to uh, play around uh, with images like this um you can have any other background you need i'll show you or any any other size there's too many in the internet uh, especially on dice there are too many dice as well um maybe i'll do it on the other side as well so we'll, we'll make it a bit smaller so it's so, yeah, they're similar. Yeah, okay, it's fantastic. It looks good. So again, I want to put it. Uh, I want to bring my um, title forward. So yep, and it's covered. So it, let's go a bit closer. So you see, it looks very good. It looks very professional with my longbowman here. 
and uh, the card. So what I can do here, so I can insert, for example, um, insert um, title, and I can put English longbows or longbowman. I'm sorry, I'm writing slowly, but uh, I'm holding the microphone with the other one, so I'm writing like a... Well, doesn't understand longbowman, but nevertheless, when you print it. So you have English longbowman, they're white. We don't want them white, so let's go and, and make them black. And uh, maybe make them... Well, but then you can choose different, um, totally different uh, letters. It's... Uh, you know that it's when everybody's using Word and Excel. You can use any kind of letter or Algerian, but I will leave it like this. If the size is fine with you, English longbowman, it's fine. So if we go back now, here, well, I don't like these letters. They don't really um, portray the medieval era well. Let's, just, let's find something that is, oh, you like this? I think this is not bad. I made it a bit bigger than usual. You play around. You can make them one over the other if you want. For example, this one is not a big, a big issue. You can put them here and then align them. And you have them like this, let's see. Yeah, they don't look bad. So you can have it like this. It's, it's up to you. Now, let's say that this is my design. I like it. I, I don't want to do anything else. But I don't want to get it. You know, when, when I'm going to start writing my... Um, attributes and my rules uh, these things are going to move you know this is the, everything this is individual placed so i may create problems to my design well i have to do it again and again and uh, and fix it so what i do i control a and i take everything i copy it and then i paste it as a photograph so it's pasted as one and then i can play with size so you see this one is different images here it's pasted as one I think it looks very good. And then here, again, I can uh, insert letters and write, for example, uh, move. Say, let's say, 8 inches. Uh, then uh, attack. Or, or whatever you want. Or uh, dies, or whatever. So, you, a special, then you can put special rules, like I have here, for example. You see, movement, charge, uh, mali dice, special rules. The same with here. Um, you write whatever you want, but it's easier to write now because um, you, um, you you don't have to. Not the image is not uh, broken; it's one piece, it's like a photograph. And when you finish, you do exactly the same thing uh, with the attributes that you wrote. You do the copy paste again, and this will include also uh, the move. And then you paste it as a photograph, and it stays as one. Now, for example, if you want to do something in the World War, I don't know what parchment would you use this is a parchment but what we can do for the world war if we go to color here maybe we can do it black and white so we can use this well these are soviets and the tops are germans but nevertheless and here you can use your image um world war probably will be something else let's see and if we can find any interesting uh well any interesting uh Maybe this one is not bad, but this is not a World War. It's uh, more um, uh, recent. Um, but you see how many images you have. Uh, have a look here. Uh, if you download it, it says to you that um, download. It says to you that um, you can download it, but uh, not for uh, commercial purposes. Here it is. Let's copy it and paste it. This is uh, this looks more like a leponero. Here you play around with it. So let's remove <laughs> the image is dark here. So this one, how beautiful this will look if you have it, for example, here. That's amazing. Huh? You make it a bit smaller so it won't take all your uh, screen. And here, and here you can have your um, Unitype, it could be this one, you can have photographs, it doesn't matter, you don't have to necessarily use this one, but you can have a photograph, let's say this is a photograph of your, of your unit, um, you can you can find a way uh, of um, of portraying it, and let's say I have mostly I have parchment here, but uh, uh, even parchment uh, maybe can work if we can find something more um, more simple. But as I said, because if it's for your own benefit, if your own um, uh, games, or the, your, you're not going to earn money from this, um, you can use any image. If you're thinking of making cards and selling them, just be careful what you download and um, what are the rules. So um, 
The same happened here, exactly the same as you see in this uh, quick refer sheet blue hook rules, and the same uh, here regarding um, the commanders of saw point. Um, I think you understand now, it's it's quite easy, it's very easy to create, and they look really beautiful. I mean, um, these reference sheets look very beautiful, these uh, unit cards. Um, they, they, they really, I use them in my games, and they really look really good. You can create also card bugs, it's up to you. If you want to create card bugs, obviously, um, you can find another image and use it. So, um, it's, you can do anything you want as long as... Um, you're following the rules and you're using this material uh, for commercial purposes. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you um, like what I showed you and you understood. Any questions, please don't hesitate to uh, write in the comment section. Thank you for the support for the channel. Uh, I hope this was helpful. I'm trying to do helpful videos for everybody. Uh, again, thank you much for watching and have a great week, upcoming weekend. Bye-bye, uh, everyone.